Is a surprise coming for Canoe GOEV this earnings season? Canoe's Oklahoma City facility accelerates EV manufacturing strategy with foreign trade zone designation. Investors are always looking for stocks that are poised to beat at earnings season and Canoe Inc. GOEV may be one such company. The firm has earnings coming up pretty soon, and events are shaping up quite nicely for their report. That is because Canoe is seeing favorable earnings estimate revision activity as of late, which is generally a precursor to an earnings beat. After all, analysts raising estimates right before earnings with the most up-to-date information possible is a pretty good indicator of some favorable trends underneath the surface for GOEV in this report. In fact, the most accurate estimate for the current quarter is currently at a loss of $1.38 per share for GOEV, narrower than the broader Zach's consensus estimate of a loss of $1.78 per share. This suggests that analysts have very recently bumped up their estimates for GOEV, giving the stock of Zach's earnings especially a plus 22.55% heading into earnings season. Why is this important? A positive reading for the Zach's earnings ESP has proven to be very powerful in producing both positive surprises and outperforming the market. Our recent 10-year backtest shows that stocks that have a positive earnings especially and a Zach's rank 3 hold or better show a positive surprise nearly 70% of the time, and have returned over 28% on average in annual returns see more top earnings ESP stocks here. Given that GOEV has a ZAX Rank 3 and an ESP in positive territory, investors might want to consider this stock ahead of earnings. You can see the complete list of today's ZAX 1 Rank Strong Buy stocks here. Clearly, recent earnings estimate revisions suggest that good things are ahead for Canoe, and that a beat might be in the cards for the upcoming report. Canoe's Oklahoma City facility accelerates EV manufacturing strategy with foreign trade zone designation. Canoe's Oklahoma City facility is now a foreign trade zone FTZ, approved by the U.S. Department of Commerce. FTZ status brings benefits like duty elimination on exports and deferred duties on imports, boosting Canoe's profitability and working capital. With plans for expansion and a focus on domestic sourcing, Canoe aims to strengthen local economies while creating high-quality manufacturing jobs. In the heartland of America, in Oklahoma City, something exciting is happening. Canoe's factory emerges as more than just an electric vehicle EV production site, it's getting special recognition. The U.S. Department of Commerce just named it a foreign trade zone FTZ. This means big things are happening, not just for Canoe, but for the whole area. But it's not just about technological progress. It's a story of economic rejuvenation, job creation, and a strong commitment to American innovation. Canoe's approach to EV production integrates breakthrough technologies, unique design concepts, and a business model spanning multiple owners across the vehicle life cycle. Manufacturing strength is centered around a Canoe's modular electric platform carefully designed to maximize interior space and meet various business and consumer needs. The designation of Canoe's Oklahoma City facility as an FTZ not only spotlights its commitment to American manufacturing but also signals a new era of economic growth and job creation. Tony Aquila, investor, executive chairman, and CEO of Canoe, expressed his gratitude, stating, We are proud to announce that we have achieved another important building block in our strategy by creating one of the largest foreign trade zones in the state of Oklahoma. With over 100 current employees, Canoe's Oklahoma City plant will generate as many as 1,100 high-quality manufacturing jobs at full capacity. The FTZ designation brings a host of benefits, including the elimination of customs duties on vehicles exported overseas and the deferral of duties on imported parts for domestic sales. This step not only boosts profitability but also increases working capital by millions of dollars, enabling Canoe to offer cost-effective solutions to its customers. The foreign trade zone status opens avenues for international expansion, with anticipated cost reductions of up to 5% on parts imported from around the world. Canoe's dedication to sourcing more than 90% of its parts from the US and allied nations shows its commitment to promoting domestic production and backing local economies. Aquila stresses the strategic importance of the Oklahoma City location, situated on I-40, a crucial route for nationwide product distribution. 
This initiative helps bring back American manufacturing by creating, restoring, growing, and protecting made in America products and advanced manufacturing jobs, he added. Canoe's FTZ initiative not only benefits the company but also contributes to the broader economic landscape of Oklahoma. With plans to expand its manufacturing footprint in the state, Canoe has its sights on becoming a key player in the advanced manufacturing sector in the heartland of America. In its pursuit of manufacturing excellence, Canoe stands out by managing its own supply chain, ensuring smooth integration between parts procurement and production processes. Unlike competitors who delegate these vital tasks, Canoe remains dedicated to building a vertically integrated manufacturing system that emphasizes efficiency and quality. As Canoe waits for approvals for its remaining manufacturing facilities in Oklahoma, the company's FTZs are set to become some of the largest in the state. This expansion not only highlights Canoe's dedication to innovation and sustainability but also confirms its position as a leading force in shaping the future of EV manufacturing.